It's time for the next upgrade from Catalan Studio and Catalan Studio Fireout 5 is out. So let's quickly see what are the new changes Catalan Studio has brought this time to us. Let's get started. Hey guys, my name is Karthik and I am from EasyRedAutomation.com and today we'll be talking about the new features of Catalan Studio Fireout 5. So the most important change log of Catalan Studios are this. It has an improved test recorder this time, web service helper tips, and ability to share custom keywords via Git. So this is really, really cool. So you can see that Catalan Studio, every time the new releases happens, it has something on the tweak side and some of the most greater and latest expected community features like ability to share custom keywords via Git and also export the custom keywords. So those were some of the most requested features by the community and Catalan Studio team has intelligently provided them to us. So let's quickly see everything in action and understand how things work. So for that, I'm gonna flip to Catalan Studio 5.4 this time. So once you get into the 5.4.2 version, you will see there is a new version of 5.5 release. So if you just download this 5.5 release, you will see there are so many noticeable changes, at least in the web service automation side. So I'll quickly show the older version just to make sure that you remember what's really happening there so that you can obviously see the changes. So if you see in the older version of the Catalan Studio of the API here, you can see for the web service, you have a tab called authorization, HTTP header, and HTTP body. And if you go to the put, maybe that's a very good example for that. So if you see the HTTP body, you have an empty uh, body here, and there is a uh, body and the header. So if you try to execute any one of the uh, request, let's say if I want to execute a request for the post over here, you can see it gives the response, and it also shows some of the information, which is not very relevant though, because it is not very easy to identify things. But with the new versions, it has been improved a lot with some of the context-driven approach of telling what you can do with these kinds of responses and what you can do with asserting these kinds of responses coming from with the web service responses. So I'm going to close this Catalan Studio and I'm going to open Catalan Studio 5.5 so that you can quickly see the changes. All right, this is my Catalan Studio version 5.5 and then I'm going to open the same exact project that we just saw on the 5.4 version of Catalan Studio. So you can see for the 5.5 versions, we actually have the same object repository that we just saw in 5.4 and if I open this object repository this time, you can see a very, very obvious tab which is nothing but the verification tab. So this was something which was not there in the previous version and it is currently available and it is very, very context driven as well. You can see every time you get any response from the particular server, you can do some kind of stuff here like verification of the response containing a string or convert to a JSON object or check the content type and also verify the number of elements, array containing, and all those stuff. So this is something like a snippet that you can use very quickly and see what's really going on from the response. For instance, if I go to the get request and if I see the response here, it shows me these kinds of responses. And now if I want to assert that particular response, you can also see that I can do some assertions, something like get header field and its content type is equal to an application of JSON, right? And similarly, if I can also verify if it's an array list of 200, 201, and 202, something like that. So it actually gives me 200, but you can also see if it is within this particular response code or not. So you can also verify that. And you can also verify if that particular response contains a string. For instance, if I just go over here, and if I hit this contain strings object, you can see that assert that response or get response text dot contains Catalan test project. In our case, we can use synonym with C sharp and I can directly just paste it over here and I can verify what kind of response it is. So this is really cool. This is a very, very obvious change and you can make sure that it actually works fine or not by just copy pasting this particular piece of code over here. So I can quickly show you how it works. So I'm just gonna go all the way to the create and verify a post and then if I go to the script here, so you can see that there is some script which is written previously. So I'm just gonna 
come into this piece of code and I'm just going to paste this particular uh, code that we just saw over there in the response. And if I try to run this particular piece of code, you can see that this code is going to work as expected. There you go. The test got passed. So this is very, very easy. And the code that we wrote before is our own way of identifying things and performing an action. But right now, it's very easy for any non-developer background testers to do that. That's the whole idea of Catalan Studio itself. So that's the one obvious change that I was looking for a pretty long time and it is currently available in this release. The next change is actually in the object repository. Well, I don't really have to show you how it works because one of my friend in automation step by step, he already showed how to work with object repositories and how things work. So I probably will give you a link of his video where you can actually see what are the recent changes coming in into the Catalan Studio's object repository. The next change is actually on the exporting the keywords. Again, it's also discussed in automation step by step video, but I'll quickly run you through like how it actually affects you within your test project. So for instance, if you have a keywords and if you want to import a keyword from one of the projects which is available in the Git, so you can directly right click and you can hit import and then hit Git where you can also specify the repository of the Git over here and then you can download the keywords from there. For instance, if I want to download from one of my Catalan Studio project, then I can directly go over here to the repository and let's say I want to download some of the keywords which is already available in my other project. I guess it's there in the Catalan two-factor authentication which has a keyword of MFA and if I want to just get, get this particular keyword into my project, so I'm just going to copy that. I'm going to paste it over here and then I can give my username and password. Hit next and you can see it shows me the master branch and if I hit next and hit finish you can see that it is automatically importing the keywords for me and it has downloaded that for me. That's really really cool. So you can see that it has this particular uh, keywords for me in here the keyword of the MFA where it has to have all the information that I was looking for and then it also has the libraries, custom keywords, the library of internals, and the script for two-factor two authentication. So it automatically imports all the things for me right away from GitHub. So these are the three important changes that came in the Catalan Studio 5.5 release this time. Hope next time Catalan Studio is going to release even more features. So stay tuned for the updates from Exit Automation. Once again, thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day.